All right, guys, we're going in for more small land, survive the wilds. I think we're on part three now. Yes, part three. And the, at the end of the last video, we made stone armor and we started making our first base of operations. It's nothing special. It's just, it's got a floor, walls, and most of a roof. And that's what's important right now. That's what's important right now. So we're gonna finish off that roof and we're also going to see what else we can do. I definitely need to make more arrows as well. I think I'm fresh out of those. So we're gonna have to find more fiber for that, which actually have a good location for that on the Eastern side of the stream. So we can go back there, find a bunch of fiber and wood, make some arrows, and then get out there and see what else we can do. I kind of want to check out the mine as well, where all those uh, red ants are. So I think we might do that. With that said, let's hop in. Thank you for all the love you leave on this video. I appreciate it. All the likes and comments, it means a heck of a lot. Love you all. Let's do this. Okay, we need to finish off this roof here. And I think I'm completely out of arrows. Yeah, I have no arrows left. So let me go ahead and put some stuff away. Stuff that I don't need on me at the moment. I think that goes over there. I need to make another chest, which I think requires fiber as well, oddly enough. Yeah, man, like, there's so many things that require fiber, and it seems to be a pretty... It's so it's used so often in so many things that it's kind of hard to keep up with the demand. All right, I have poisonous mushrooms on me, some edible mushrooms. I didn't mean to eat a poisonous mushroom. Um, whoops. I'm not sure how long that lasts. Hopefully not much longer. Okay, we're good. It did 21 damage to me. One poisonous mushroom did 21 damage to me. That's kind of rough. Oh, well. It is what it is. We're fine. Make sure everything is repaired. Good to go. We are. Don't have anything um, crazy here. I could make fire arrows. I do have some insect fur, but I think I'm going to end up using that for something else too. So I'm not going to do that right away. So let's get out there and find some fiber first and foremost. That's the most important thing right now. Fiber. We need to go to the eastern side of the water. Right over that way. It's too bad that we can't swim, so I could just jump right off that ledge. Oh, hey, guys. How you doing? Camera zoomed in on me there. That was a little weird. All right. Let me eat some food. Get some regeneration going. So the, the speed difference with this stone armor is noticeable, but also my defense seems to be a lot harder, a lot higher, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's going to affect my movement as far as jumping across this, though. I guess we find out right here, right now. Oh. Okay, it doesn't affect it enough to make it so I can't make it. It's still a tight jump, but we made it. Got some wood. I'm going to need a fair amount of wood if I'm going to make arrows as well, so I'm going to keep, keep grabbing a bunch of that. The first little bit of this video is just going to be gathering. So we can make our arrows because there are things specifically that are weak to the piercing of the arrows. Those uh, those big beetles, for example, they are weak to piercing and very resistant to slash. So definitely need arrows for things like that. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. More fiber. I think I'm just going to take some time here to gather a whole bunch. I'm just going to run around this tree, gather as much as I possibly can. And then we'll go ahead and skip ahead in the video. So that way, you know, I'm not boring you with my gathering moments here. Okay, we're back at it. 
we uh we have a lot of fiber and wood now you can see i've got almost four full stacks of fiber and i've got almost four full stacks of wood we got a whole bunch there it took me around right around i don't know 10 to 12 minutes to gather this much just by running around the tree all the way over there on the eastern side of the map we gathered a whole bunch there let's see about maybe putting on a roof over our house here considering it does rain you can see that there's ever so slight damage to these four parts right here because of the exposure to the elements so you can repair those real quick let's see about rooftop stuff and yeah, we have these here this here more corner stuff a roof corner just kind of looking at all this stuff here all right that's rounded maybe i get crazy with it maybe we get crazy oh yeah I don't know if these tiny little holes here are going to be a problem, though. If they are, I mean, we can just kind of take them down and put up the normal roof. That's fine by me. Okay, let's do some repairing. Get all that together. And now I need to craft some arrows. However, my inventory is very full of all sorts of stuff. So let's see if we can put some stuff away. We don't need those. Don't need those. Let's put away the poisonous mushrooms. Not sure why I still hold those. I do have some chitin. I did find a beetle, so I killed it. We have some honey crumbles on us we can put away. We'll keep the food. Put away the bottle caps. I need to make another chest while we're here. Let's do that, too. Right there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Awesome. We'll put away a couple stacks of wood and a couple stacks of fiber. We'll keep the rest of it on us. Just in case I need it for whatever, I don't know. We have I've bought some more bull ants as well. I got swarmed by them at one point. I don't need the wooden club on me anymore either. I'm not sure why I still have that on. Where did it just go? Oh, it's equipped. Put that away. We put these rocks away. Put those away. Keep the torch on us. We need that. The hatchet as well. We got some bug limps. Put that away. And that too. That. We'll keep the mushrooms on us. We need the food. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Now, what I think we're going to do is take our arrows. And I want to check out the mine down below and see what's going on in there. Just to see what's up. gonna make a stack of 100 yeah it uses a lot of fiber and wood three wood two fiber to get all that all right equip those all right now we're good to go let's get down below i think all these ants are gonna be respawned as well yeah which, you know, they're not too bad to fight now, but I'm still going to take some of them out slowly for just not wanting to get swarmed by them. And I'm getting swarmed by them. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You see what I mean? Like, fighting two at once... It just, it racks up the damage on you quickly. If they were the regular carpenter ants, it wouldn't be so bad just because they have such low health, I can two-shot them. So they just die really fast. These ones are a little more on the tanky side, so it's not so possible that way. Do a little bit of sniping. Oh, I missed. Gotta go a little higher. There we are. All right, wait for it. Do the charged attack. And a basic. There we go. Not bad. Let's snipe this guy. 
Oh, I missed. I missed. When you land that charged attack, it does great work. Now, I want to keep landing the sneak attack with the arrows just because it does do a good amount of damage. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty free. That is pretty free. Also, these are all the rocks that I mined earlier, and it looks like they're back. So, I don't know if they came back because I exited the game and logged back in, but either way, they are back. All right, see a couple guys here. Oh, dang, I missed. Oh, I can see one. Oh, that doesn't hit him? What are you doing, man? I hit him with two charged attacks just because they do so much damage. Oh, I see his legs down there. Hey, bud. Dang. So it looks like two charge attacks and then one or two basic attacks will take them out. My health is hurting. Oh, I should have made some healing stuff. I forgot to do that. I do hear the legs of another one around somewhere. It sounds like it's on my left. No, I hear one on my right. What is this? Hmm. Well, we found a screw. I guess that's it down here. Okay, uh, that was quick clear. Very quick clear. And he said I couldn't handle it. It's, honestly, it's mostly this armor. This armor definitely can tank a lot of damage. Okay, it is uh, just about nightfall, so I can go back up to the house, repair my stuff, sleep, make some healing stuff. I'm going to make some healing stuff before I leave again. I forgot about that. And then we will, I think maybe we'll check out going to the coastline. I want to see about finding the materials I need for taming a ladybug. The, 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 th the ladybug thing that I can make. The issue is, is I think... I can't remember what it is specifically, but there's something there that I do not have yet. Maybe it's two things. I don't really know. Either way, stuff I don't have yet. Where is it? I need nectar. Okay. So nectar, I assume, would be from some type of flower. So that means... I would likely need to upgrade my axe, my crude hatchet, which I can make, actually. I have enough chitin for that. Maybe I do that. That might be the way. Let me grab the stuff. I do have chitin. Chitin, resin, and wood, I think it was. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's put this sax away. We can throw that one on number three. And then we make some simple bandages. By some, I mean we're making nine, apparently. We'll put those on five. I have no more fiber on us. No more fibers. It goes fast. Put those away. We have some screws over here. Put those away. Put the mandibles. Oh, hold on. Mandibles away. I've got too many mandibles. Hopefully they're used for something else in the future as well. And uh, yeah, let's sleep because it's nightfall. You fall in a deep slumber. All right. 
Hey guys, do me a favor. As always, if you are enjoying the video, leave a like and a comment on it for me to help out with the algorithm. Just going to be honest with you, it does help out in a big way, and I appreciate every little bit of it. Thank you, folks. Now, let's see. So down here is the rhino beetle. And now that we have this axe, I kind of want to see about chopping down some of those uh, mauve things to see if we can get some maybe nectar out of them, possibly. Though I've not really much memory as to where they are, except to the east. That's all I really remember. They're to the east. A lot of what I need in general is more on the east side of the map so far. Definitely the beginner's area. I think that's one right there. I should go check that out. We can see what it gives us. I really like when they give me the, the bug limps. Bug limps. It's hard for me to enunciate that. Bug limps. Oh, I missed it. I think the charged attack can one-shot these guys. Oh, there's some mauve flower things right here, too. Nice. Let's see what these give me. Oh, yeah, it does one-shot them. Not all the time, but a lot of time. Oh, yeah. 15 more damage per strike. Okay, a lot of wood and a lot of uh, uh, one fiber. Okay, so that's what they give. It, it's mostly about the wood with these. No nectar. Wait, we got some petals. This is actually really great because being able to get this much wood this quickly is nice. The things on the ground only give two to three. Whereas this seems to give five or six and a fiber. And sometimes petals, which I'm not quite sure what the petals are for, but every little bit. Okay, so I guess we need to be on the lookout for nectar in some regard. I remember when we found those bees, there was red flowers near them as well. So let me see if we can go find those and chop those down with this hatchet. I have to assume there's a reason why the bees were in that area, right? The math adds up to me. Sir, if you could stop biting me, that'd be great. Yeah, right over this way where these bees are. The first time I found them, there's the red flowers here. Let's give it a glance. There's one red flower right up there. Let me go ahead and take out this guy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not the bees. You see that they're uh, they're weak to pierce, right? You see uh, next to their name that has that pierce icon? So that's why I was trying to open up with the arrows, but then I got swarmed by them. Good news is we got some honey crumble. Let me pop a simple bandage. Let's see about this red flower here. Do you have the nectar I'm looking for? The poppy. Nice, it does. Oh, that's great. Also some seeds. Wait, where'd that go? Some seeds. Are right, these guys right here are also weak to piercing? But I think we'll be able to avoid them. I'm going to go ahead and just farm up all the nectar here.
Now we can make that ladybug thing. And I'm just grabbing more nectar in case it might be able to feed us too. Okay, it doesn't. Gathered from flowers, th these exquisite drops of liquid have been used by small folk for centuries for their medicinal properties. So maybe I can make some type of healing out of them. Eventually. Aw. There's a lot of poppies over there in the distance. Ooh, the double nectar drop. I want to see what we can do with the butterfly. I'm sorry, not a butterfly, a ladybug. I'm not sure if we'll be able to mount it, but we'll be able to use it for storage. It'll be our friend. I have to take this out. Oh, I missed. Dang. Okay. Gonna back it up. Gonna back it up here. Ah, you see, you're at the end of your leash. He's also weak to piercing. If I were to use my sword here, it would be doing single digit damage. In fact, just to show you, I will. See this? See that incredibly low damage? Terrible. Absolutely awful. So it's definitely important to make use of the enemy's weaknesses in this game. Specifically the, the stronger enemies like that anyway. The bees are, you know, I guess the bees are a lower tier enemy in this game. I remember in Grounded they were an actual nightmare. Also, I'm going to be honest, as much fun as I am having with this, I still think that uh, Grounded is a better game overall, but, but, Grounded was also from a much larger studio, Obsidian, and had a lot more development time already at this, at, you know, in general. So, I, uh, you know, the, at this current time, it's kind of unfair to, com you know, compare a full game to a not full game. But that also, one game being better than another doesn't mean that this game is, you know, the, the, the game that is not as good is not good in general, right? So I'm having a good time with this all the same. Like, I I, I have a really deep-rooted love for survival games. And the fact that, that this one plays a lot like an MMO, it really drew me in quickly. So this is this is a good time for me. I'm not sure if the seeds will allow us to plant poppies or if I do something else with them. We'll have to figure that out. So many poppies here. May as well chop the uh, moth plants. Not sure if it's mauve or mauve. I don't use that word enough in my life to really know. Okay, I think we have enough for now. Let's go ahead and get back to our base of operations and making one of those ladybug things and then finding a ladybug and see if it just works or if there's something else we have to do. I like that it marks on the map where you last slept. La uh, slept. <laughs> I slept.
All right, we're just about back at the base of operations again. We are here. My nice grass house. All right, let's make our repairs. Oh, I need resin for the, the hatchet. Interesting. Luckily, I gathered a boatload of that early on in the game. I got some other stuff as well, but let's first make this ladybug travel kit. Includes a special treat to tame a ladybug, as well as backpacks designed to attach to their four wings, providing additional storage space for the ladybug to carry. Okay. I'm not sure how we're going to use it, but we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna figure that out. Let me put some other things away. Eat one of those real quick. I got some bee heads and ant heads. I'm, I'm just collecting the skulls of my, my enemies, I guess. That's a normal thing that people do, right? You collect the skulls of your enemies, guys. Be honest with me. You can be honest. I won't tell anyone. We got another beetle hearts. Got more chitin. Some more insect fats. Where does that go? I'm going to have to organize this already. It's already something that's going to annoy me if I don't. All right, we have some petals. No space for the petals. Okay, hold on. We need another one of these already. All right, there we go. Nutritious cooking ingredient that can be used that can also be ground for flour or processed to produce oil. Okay, so that's that's a major cooking ingredient. I like that. Okay. I'm glad we have it. Let's put this on the number... Oh, I, I can't... I can't do anything with it? Maybe I need to find a ladybug and then drop it in front of it, perhaps? Let's go do that. Come with me. Let's go see if we can tame a ladybug, friend. I want to say there's some not too far from me just down this way and across the water, but again, the issue is the water. How do I get it back across this way? There's also some straight this way, too, I believe, actually. I remember seeing some further west. Oh, those bees are back already? Dang. Oh, no, those are... Those are different bees. It's a different spot. Maybe they move based on time of day. Let's go up this way, further up. What are you doing there? Another ant. Sir, you can't jump away. That's illegal. Man, I'm pretty sure there's a ladybug somewhere up here. I remember seeing one sometime. Oh, in fact, you know what? I know for sure there is because I attacked one of them to see, you know, if they were evil or not. By the way, it turns out they're not evil. I did find that out. I'm just really tanking these guys, aren't I? Oh, no. And another one over there. What is this? Looks like straight up grain. Oh, it's rye, yeah. A lot of fiber. Oh, that's big. This is huge right here. I swear it's the most precious resource in the game. This is really nice. 
I'm going to take this out. Man, you hurt. Anything else here? Okay. I just want to grab all this while we're here. And that guy was definitely going to get in the way of it. We can't allow that. Simply cannot allow it. Finding this much fiber in one spot, that's too free. The fact that it only took a wood hatchet this whole time, too. I just didn't even realize. There's another one of those Warsaw things. More rye. Man, it looks like we can actually climb all the way up. But a fall would be devastating. I see ants, I see strawberries, I see bees, Warsaw beetles. Not what I actually need. Where am I? Maybe it's further south? By the way, I know where I need to go if I need more fiber in the future. We can just go farm this spot. There's a whole bunch around here. All that that we farmed as well as some over that way. All the way around this tree. Nope. You know, if you had less health, you'd be more, uh, more interesting to fight, sir. How is he not attacking me? There you go. It's worth just tanking it. Yeah. If I try to avoid their damage, I end up taking more at the end of the day. All this fibrous goodness. All right, let me try going further south this way. Another Warsaw Beetle. Dang, man. These things are everywhere here. Where have all the ladybugs gone? My biggest concern is if I were to go to the east side of the water again, the ladybug might not be able to get across the water for some reason. I guess I could just like build flooring for a bridge, but I'm not sure if that works. Like if I can just build foundation across it and then they'll just like follow. I don't know. A lot of blackberries laying around here. Another Warsaw beetle. That is a whole wasp nest. Don't want that. Oh, hey, what's up? You scared me. Beautiful. Eh, 
another Warsaw, man. They're everywhere. Maybe I'm remembering them down by Scotty. Maybe, maybe. No, 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 no. Got to be careful about my bathing here. I don't want to get swarmed by all this stuff. Where have all the ladybugs gone? More Warsaw beetles, more ants. Hello. I really need to find out how to make a shield or something. Even if there is no parrying, a simple block would be nice. Nice. Alright, I'm going to keep going a little bit westward here. Just because I don't want to run into any of these bees' nests. Oh, dang, I missed that. It looks like it's... Yeah, it's nighttime, so... Oh, what the spider, man? Okay, okay. I'm not sure how much damage you're going to do to me, but I'm scared of it. What are you weak to? Sword? Good. Okay, you do a lot more damage than I do. And yeah, there's a lot of spiders here. I think I'm dead, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's faster than I am. By a good margin. Oof. Welp. Well, luckily I didn't lose any items there. That's not what I intended to have happen there. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine, man. Stupid spiders. The worst part is, too, is there was two of them. I was being chased by one, and then I started to run away, and then the other one was in the distance, like, eyeing me down. I was not prepared for that. Let's go up this way. I need to avoid any and all fights. Oh, damn. Of course. Go away, bed. I'm taking this. I'm taking these blackberries. He broke off. Let's go ahead and eat these blackberries. Keep my nourishment up. I didn't realize the blackberries gave eight nourishment. I think that's the best thing I found yet. All right, I'm not going to go that way. That's an easy way to fall off. Warsaw beetle. All right, pretty much can go straight west from here. I want to say I went around that way. But I think there's bees nests over there. Yeah, there's a bees nest right there in the distance. So we're going to go more this way. Even though there's a nest up there too. Kind of going in between them. Warsaw beetle. I cannot get in a fight with one of those. a giant broken crate right there. I 
All right, where are we? Okay, southwest from here. Hopefully those spiders aren't too close to my stuff. I don't know if they're a nighttime spawn, a daytime spawn. We were in that like limbo period in between. Warsaw beetle right there. Some ants ahead of us. There's my stuff. Okay. He's still here. They're a daytime. They are a daytime spawn. Oh no. And they are fierce in their following. Oh, they make some nasty noises too. Oh boy. Okay, I got away. Oh. Okay, so I don't know if they're a daytime spawn. They might be both. They might they might just be like a very territorial creature in that area behind that tree. What is this? Oh, it's a pipe. Okay. Oh, my beetles. Man, I just need a moment. Can you guys give me a moment? I would love a moment. Okay. I don't get a moment, guys. No moments for Josh. Keep running. No stinging. That's illegal. Stop it. Oh, dude, this guy's relentless, too. There's some ladybugs, finally. I think I'm actually poisoned. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Never mind, I lived. Whew. I am poisoned, though. I'm gonna use another bandage. Keep the health regen overgoing it. It's attacking the ladybugs. It's okay, friends. Man, wasps are nasty. I'm not quite sure how to use this. They're walking away from me, so I'm assuming I just have to wait for them to get back to their spot before they'll interact with anything. All right, will you interact with it now? No. This might not be what I need to interact with them at all. I don't think it is. Do you want it? No. Do you want a... A blackberry? No? What is that? Oh, right. I know where that is. That's Scotty. Okay. Okay, so let's read this. This kit includes a special treat to tame a ladybug. Uh, I know it mentioned earlier in the game that sometimes you have to beat up the monsters or the bugs to get them to be tamed. So forgive me for this. Tame. Yeah, now I can tame it. There we go. Use. So now it's got like a backpack type thing going on here. Oh, I can't mount it though. I do not mount it at all. That's okay, though. Hold on. Let me... <laughs> let me turn off the HUD here. This is great. Look at him. My little... My little... Ladybug mule friend. 
My little ladybug meal friend. <laughs> Will you follow me? Yeah, you just straight up follow me. That's sick. That's so cool. Okay, now. About this guy. Yeah, have that. Yeah, how do you like that, dude? Poisoned arrow, poisoned dart, poisoned mace? Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty big. I would like to figure out what this poisoned mace is all about. This could be big. <laughs> My little ladybug friend. All right, so here's the stuff that we made earlier on in our in our playthrough. What about this poisoned mace? Poison gland, insect sting, bark, fiber string, and refined wood. Okay, so that's mostly material that I do not have. But look at the blunt damage and the pierce damage and the poison damage on there. That's a lot more damage than I have on my sword. My sword does a simple 8 to 11. So this is a much higher level weapon. I've got one poison gland, one insect sting, no bark, no fiber string, and no refined wood. And I know those last three are specifically more advanced material. So, I'm glad we unlocked that. That's cool, but it's going to be a while before we get it. That's going to be a while. Okay, so we tamed a ladybug friend. We did it. Very good. I think maybe I make some more healing stuff, and then we go check out the beach to the south, because that's what my armor is meant for. Need stone for the stone breast. I don't know if we're going to find stone anywhere soon, or anytime soon, rather. Yeah, I see none on me. I guess maybe in the future I should try to bring a couple with me in case I need to do quick repairs on the fly. Yeah, it looks like the ladybug doesn't have much difficulty actually navigating. That's nice. Why, why are you running? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know what happened there. Alright, these are bees, not wasps. These are all very long falls down to the shore. I don't like that. I need to find my way a little more eastward. Oh, please don't see me. Yeah, I don't like this angle either. Need to find myself a little more eastward so that way I can make my way down in a safe way. I think the ladybug just runs off anytime we get into combat whatsoever. A pretty stark difference from the ladybugs in Grounded. Ladybugs won't care if you're in combat. But if you choose to fight them, they do not hesitate to fight back. Then again, you're much smaller in that game too. Okay, is that a wasp or a bee? That's a bee. A lot of bees here. So many bees here. This one's on to me. Maybe? No?
Oh, we're being swarmed. So much be. Oh my god. Man, if you attack any one of them, it looks like they all just swarm you. There's no real, real stopping that. I attacked one and all four came at me. That's tough. They do drop the insect fur, which I do need need for different things, including fire arrows. Ah, uh, no. You leave my ladybug alone. Oh, I missed. That was considered a critical. Nice. I keep calling them Warsaw Beetles as well. They're Sawyer Beetles. I don't know if I had like a random dyslexic moment or what there. Oh, I missed. But they do drop chitin, which is great. Let's go ahead and try to get a sneak attack on this one. Yeah. Hard to be mad at that damage. My armor protects me from so much damage from them, which is really nice. It's just, you know... It dwindles down my armor overall, which isn't nice. No, sir. That's definitely going to be a annoying aspect <laughs> when it comes to having the ladybug with me. Everyone wants to kill the ladybug. Oh, there are some new bugs down there. That is... That is big. If I hit you from up here, for science... I can. That's a green beetle. And it's trying to make its way up to me. It's actually weak to hammers. Oh man, you are... You are making progress quickly. Oh my God. You are, you are huge and fast. That squeaky noise you make. It's not it, sir. Okay. I think that's going to be a huge waste of arrows. How many do I have? I only have 27 left. Yeah, I'm not... I, I don't know if I should do this. Yeah, they're making their way all the way down there anyway. So if I can't handle that, there's no way I can handle a rhinoceros beetle. No way. I need to find more ways to actually advance my, advance my gear. So, I guess we do a little wandering around looking into that. Maybe I do need to farm wasps after all to try to get one of their maces going because they are weak to blunt damage. So maybe I work on getting a poisonous mace going despite the wasps, wasps being uh, quite powerful. I kind of know where they spawn, though, so there is that. No, no, because I don't know how to make, like, bark and stuff like that. That's a problem. I guess it just depends on the stuff that I can make, like, if there's any type of, like, refinement stuff. Because there was something, like, 
uh, some type of cutting tool that was mentioned for refining things in some regard. So maybe it's something to do with that. That makes sense to me. So let's head back to our base with our ladybug friend. All right, so we made it back to the old humble abode here. We have our ladybug friend still with us. Let's get them indoors here. See if they'll come inside. I don't know if they'll actually walk inside or not. Yeah, I guess not. Hey, the door's right here, man. <laughs> okay, we're going to make you stay here. There you go. You stay. So, what I'm going to do is I was thinking about it. I forgot about the person up here to the northeast, Drustana. We can go talk to them and see what goes on from there. They are on the eastern side, and generally speaking, the eastern side of this stream is a little bit easier, at least what I've seen so far. So maybe we go up there and check out what they're doing. Maybe go check out what they're doing. I think that's the play. First, I need to put stuff away, and also, I need to repair a bunch of stuff. So let's do that. I need resin for that repair. I need stone for that repair. Luckily, I've got both on deck. Didn't mean to drop that. Where's my stone? Didn't mean to put the resin away again. Alright. So again, um, with everything going on here, I think the best bet is to go up there. Uh, everything here is giving me higher level stuff that I don't really have access to right now. Let me check out this tool right here and see what we can actually build. There is the stone cutter. I need a bottle, bottle cap, a screw, and three more stones. Maybe I do that really fast. And just see what that can do for us. Hold on, was my stone in this one? Yes. What else did I need for it? Bottle cap and screw. I've got those around too. Where did I put those screws? Hello? Oh, there they are. There they are. So let's throw this down and see what that can do for me. Cauldron, apothecary, table, tannery, covered bed. Heated stone pot over blazing fire to cook hearty meals. So I need refined wood for that. Also, a wooden chest is nice. Apothecary table station for toiling and creating potions to replenish and cure the body. Nice. Tannery. Somewhere to refine hides into sturdy materials for advanced crafting. Okay, it has all this stuff about refined wood. So how do I turn wood into refined wood? That's what I need to figure out. Because none, none of this is really doing anything for me. I, like, maybe I need to go find it. Maybe I don't take the wood I have and make it into refined wood. Maybe I need to chop something down specifically for refined wood. I don't quite know. But I guess we figure that out later. This video has gone on long enough. I don't want to uh, make it go on too long. Wait, hold on. Is this it? We have flint stuff right here. Stone brick, stone spear. So we have some stuff right here. I didn't even think to actually use this. Stone hammer. 16 to 18 blunt damage. 16 22 pierce damage. Flint sword. But I, I don't know where to find flint either. Also, it requires for, for find wood, which is right there. So we need seed oil and wood to do this. And seed oil requires one seed. So before we go, let me just let me just get some stuff together real quick, you know? Let's let's do some stuff here. Let's do some things. Where's all my seeds? I think I got more than 10, did I not? Yeah. So let's go here. Let's just say we start with five. Make some refined wood. I guess I need to figure out how to get flint. Flint is the next thing on this that I just do not have. 
Stone brick requires one flint. We need to figure out where to get that because right now I have no way of actually doing anything about that. So we need to figure that out. And once we do, we're going to have all sorts of stuff at our behest. Flint spear, flint sword. Looks like the sword is just straight up better stats wise, but the spear will probably have more range. Yeah. There's a flint pickaxe. Flint arrows. That'll be nice. There's the stone spear as well. I guess it just depends on if we're able to throw them as well. If we can throw them, that's pretty good. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video. I appreciate your company and hope you're still enjoying it as much as I am. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Much love to you all, and I'll see you soon for more.